and they're off. Triple Trade is one of the first to show in company with Midnight Midge as they race towards the first with Calgary Tiger on the outside, Rock of Star on the inside, and they'll be little between the four, although a mighty errant leap by Calgary Tiger and Rock of Star wasn't too great either. Mongol Emperor is detached by five or six lengths, so Calgary Tiger, Ben French Davis heads towards the second. I wonder what's going through his mind as he approaches it, says Calgary Tiger has the advantage from Triple Trade and Rock of Star, and is much better over that. Midnight Midge in fourth, Harlem Soul with the big white face, and Mongol Emperor. So far fewer alarms over the second as Calgary Tiger. I don't think Ben French Davis had much option but to give him his head, but he's done so, and he's jumped the third really well. Harlem Soul wasn't great over it. As out in the lead, it is Calgary Tiger racing freely, wandering around on the approach to the fence. That is to the other side well enough from Rock of Star in second. Triple Trade was awkward in third. Midnight Midge and Harlem Soul. And Mongol Emperor has now caught up that chasing group. So out in the lead, it's Calgary Tiger, who turns away towards the water jump with an increasing lead of seven lengths over Rock of Star. Triple Trade races in third place. Harlem Soul makes a place around the turn, goes past Midnight Midge, and Mongol Emperor is at the back as they race past the stables and head on towards the water jump. Calgary Tiger gives it plenty of daylight, almost too much. Lands steeply, but still has the lead. The lead is slightly reduced by Rock of Star, who would now be four to five lengths back. Midnight Midge moves up on the outside of Triple Trade with Harlem Soul and Mongol Emperor as the leader reaches the first down the back. Calgary Tiger over in the lead. Harlem Soul again just a little slow in fifth place. His rider just pushing along for a stride or two as they race towards the first of the open ditches. And now Harlem Soul gets a wake up call as well from Jack Martin. Calgary Tiger over from Rock of Star. Triple trade in red and yellow. Yellow and green Midnight Mitch. Big white face of Harlem Soul. And Mongol Emperor in the nose band at the back of the pack as they head towards another plain one. Calgary Tiger still over with a clear lead of four lengths from Rock of Star and Triple Trade. Midnight Midge pushed along by Ben Jones. Harlem Soul's been at work for a while. And then Mongol Emperor, who's still the back marker, but is closing on the couple in front as they take that open ditch that marks the end of the jumping in the back straight. And there are four to take. Calgary Tiger still out there to be caught. Charging along in the lead by three lengths from Rock of Star and Triple Trade. Midnight Midge is pushed along in fourth place as they exit the back straight. Three lengths to Mongol Emperor and Harlem Soul is a further five back. So racing towards four from the finish. Calgary Tiger continues to give a bold sight. This was the scene of his errant leap at the first, but he's better there. Rock of Star is in second place and Triple Trade. Harlem Soul violently out to the left at the back of the pack. So Calgary Tiger, off the back of this absence, still has the lead. And that lead is still three lengths. And they're all working behind. Rock of Star in red and white diamonds for Jamie Moore. Triple Trade for Brendan Powell as they head towards three from the finish with Midnight Midge in fourth place. Calgary Tiger is over. Triple Trade in second. Rock of Star has now cracked. And Calgary Tiger continues to gallop on as he heads towards the second last. Triple Trade in second is two to three lengths down. Calgary Tiger heads the second last and is over safely and jumped it well. Four lengths clear from Triple Trade in second place. Then in third is Rock of Star down towards the last. Calgary Tiger. Gets in very tight, but he's over safely. Triple trade is four lengths down. Rock of Star blunders and unseats the rider. But Calgary Tiger, nearly two years off the track, all over the place at the first. And that's what it means. What a ride. Ben French Davis gave him his head, and he's won for William De Best Turner. A fairy tale victory. Triple trade, Midnight Mitch. Mongol Emperor gets round. So does Harlem Soul. Um, horse and rider both up okay after Rock of Star party company with Jamie Moore. Very well done to Ben French Davis. I have to say, watching that, I was quite scared. On <laughs> rideable Calgary Tiger, looked pretty hair raising, a roller coaster, but you got it done and in great style. Well done. Yeah, no, look, William's done a brilliant job with this horse. Um, he, he was injured after riding in a very good race here um, two years ago, and uh, he's got me in and I've schooled him twice over fences. And, you know, he, he, at home, he's been jumping fences very well. 
But as you can see, he's very free going and he kind of just wants to get on with things and do what he wants in front. But I actually had a lovely ride off him after I got over the first. And after you got down to post, I heard you overheard you say that you nearly hit an ambulance on the way down. Well, yeah, well, I did, I did a few laps of the golf course on the inside before I could stop him. And I had to kind of aim him at the ambulance, but um, we got there in the end anyway. And uh, I was celebrating like Ruby Walsh and Harry Skelton as well when you crossed the line. That, that was great to see too. Yeah, well, my jockey coach, George Baker, was on the phone to me on the way here. And he said to me, uh, you know, if you ride a winner on this horse, you've got to celebrate. And I told him I'd celebrate like Ruby Walsh winning the Gold Cup. And uh, I was just so surprised how clear, how clear in front I was. I'm sure George would be delighted. That was a proper celebration. And I just heard from the owners, they were saying, um, Ben's got that ride for life. So there you go. Well, happy days. As long as he can keep winning like that, that's all right. He did look like he was really enjoying it the whole way around. He did. Look, he, he actually settled away once I jumped sort of two or three. And he, I was just, just sat against him in front, but he, he wasn't doing too much. In, well done. Thank you very much. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.